Oh wow, this is stunning. If I could blur, I'm looking at you and I hope, I pray that you're hearing these words. <laughs> I'm about to watch a performance that is highly requested, highly recommended by a lot of people, not only in the comments, but just in person. It's one of those songs that I think will forever have a lot of talk behind it. And of course, you can see the title. It will be Fleetwood Mac's The Chain, 1982. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And yes, as you can see from the title, I will be breaking down, reacting to and analyzing a Fleetwood Mac performance. It's taken me a long time to get to this point where I'm watching a Fleetwood Mac performance over on my channel. So I'm extremely excited. I do know this song. I have actually reacted to a cover by the High Women covering this song, but this is particularly interesting because of everything that was happening around this song with this band, the relationships within the band. I'm just very intrigued. I've not actually watched this live performance. Like I said, I know the song, but this will be a first time watching this. As always, let me remind you that this is a reaction and an analysis video, so I will be stopping and talking about the vocals. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, I've left the link to the original video in the description below. If you feel like you're missing something when you're watching one of my videos, then pick up something over on my merch site. You can find some mugs, you can find some clothing, you can find notebooks, there's lots of fun things, but the link is in the description below. Another great way to show your support is by joining me over on Patreon. The link is also in the description below. There's always fun things going on over there. You can join the Discord family, lots of exclusive content, so do go and join the fun. Otherwise, do hit that subscribe button and the bell button and let's get to The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Right, I will have to pause here just as we're listening to this opening. I love that we're seeing a montage of photos as well, just as the viewer. Um, I will continue. I love how iconic, though, the beginning to the song is. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so chilling already because you know what uh, is going on. Obviously, you've got Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham right at the front one relationship. There's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of tension in the vocals initially when we're hearing this and uh, tension that is being used with the emotion. I feel like it's an added thing. Straight away with these harmonies, which is just beautiful anyway, like everyone on point because everyone knows that everyone, you know, they all know each other has to start at the same time. It's kind of like, I'm gonna just get a little bit more in so uh, you can hear me a little bit more, but it's very bitey. It's very, the phrasing of these uh, opening lines, opening phrases are so snappy. Even there, like, yeah, we can really hear blood, this fast vibrato. And then after, I think Stevie Nicks on the ra, I think it's they're both separate. I'm trying to hear, follow which one's on which harmony there, but it's a very aggressive um, vibrato. It's like really shook in there. I love the um, phrasing initially as well, where they kind of hold on, break, hold on to the words. Really interesting. Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun rise. 
they're both quite heavy on the vibrato, actually. Like, damn your love, damn your lies. Are they the, let me just get the lyrics up just to make sure I'm getting that right. It's just like, I'm gonna say it and say it in your face. Damn your love, damn your lies. Yeah, you can really feel <laughs> the aggression, right? Let's just play it a little bit more so we hear more of this. Oh wow, this is stunning. Uh, I know obviously <laughs> these are real people's lives um, and they are performing. Yes, they're connecting to the lyrics, it's their song, um, but they're also connecting to the lyrics and being like, if I could blur. <laughs> like even just the camera work as well, this is really intriguing. Cause even just the, like it's focus, we see the back of Lindsay's, Lindsay Buckingham's head and then we see the odd, word that stevie nicks joins in and then that um descending call pain just oh oh my gosh let me just let's go back because there's so <laughs> there's so many overlapping moments and um pain hurt moments that aspirate on set Like, look how much he's moving his shoulders as well. Like, you know, as a singer, we want to make sure that we feel uh, tense free, that we can just sing or whatever. He is doing, like, it's like an uncontrollable movement. But because of this, we can hear like rigid, rough, sharp uh, breaks within his voice. Like, this is how much our body and our voice together work. Like, you know, it's, it's definitely a whole... Um, interlocked, a whole conjoined like movement. But yeah, it's really, it's working with how he is delivering these lines and punching them out. He's getting full, like it's just such a spoken level element. And this is the part that I'm talking about where Stevie Nicks kind of comes in with those odd words. Okay, before we get onto this lovely, ah, like I love this note that she just hovers onto. Oh, in that little call and response overlapping section, we also have Christine McVie as well. Uh, Stevie Nicks has a little bit more of a freedom with her responses, I think, there, especially because of the pair in the front, their relationship, their connection with the lyrics. Um, there's a lot more of a, an attack, a bite there. This descend is everything. <laughs> That grit in his voice as well. She's really holding on to these notes. She's really holding on to it, letting the vibrato speak for itself, letting the pain speak for itself. Um, yeah, it's like she wants to make sure she gets the last breath, the last kind of, uh, uh, there I am, I'm still here, I'm still here. It's so... And the fact that she's so close as well to the mic. Oh, 
Oh, it's so interesting as well because it's like some. It's like you're seeing the different levels of um, processing things, like grief and stuff. Like Christine McVie is very still. Has got this very, yeah, just a calm stillness to her as she's kind of just living in whatever emotion she's feeling then we get Lindsay Buckingham really just like ah, attacking everything we have a lovely like freedom free scream that we hear just before just releasing anything that he's feeling he's like yeah I'm just gonna let it all go it, I think for me it's Stevie Nicks just standing there staring <laughs> she's like done <laughs> um oh okay Look at the difference. Oh, sorry, I have to stop. I know I didn't let it play, but wow. Um, <laughs> there was definitely a um, freedom with the delivery there, throwing more words than needed. So we were just pressing, like playing with the rhythms here as well. But what this is doing is obviously highlighting the words a little bit. I'm going to repeat, you know, when we are singing a repeated phrase in a song, if we take away what's happening relationship wise to them, like connection wise to them, when we repeat something, we want to make sure like, why is it repeated in a song? Is Obviously, if it's the chorus, then you're most likely to repeat it. But why am I repeating these words? What is it doing with the story? Here, we are repeating and he's also adding more to that uh, repetition, just like kind of repeating that never, never, never. <laughs> it's like we may be singing a song we may be singing a song like live for the audience but i'm looking at you and i hope i pray that you're hearing these words <laughs> and what's really nice here as well is that when um we hear that with the lead the echo from stevie nicks is repeated in that never ever ever kind of thing so i wonder if that was something that well see how much of this would they have worked on on their own if they were going through things per in their personal lives how much of this would they have been like planning out what to do how raw is this how connected like it seems very very connected it's just like yeah i'm uh... Love that. It's a, the triplet. Something that's really, I know this is the build-up, we'll hear it going through, but something that's really clever about this build-up, even though, you know, it's highlighting the bass riff, um, we get constant, that doesn't change, it's just like constant throughout, so it's, we know that it's going to go somewhere, obviously, well, we know this song, but like, imagine this live, seeing this, um, the raw uh, delivery and emotions from the singers, from the musicians, like, feeling their the atmosphere they're feeling how they're feeling towards one another imagine seeing this live and being like whoa <laughs> i've just stepped into your personal lives Oh. 
my god it's, it's actually quite like um it's like i'm holding my breath just watching this performance because it's just so jagged and so like from um lindsey buckingham here just like everything's very sharp and just like it's he's like he can't control himself uh whilst on stage which is um i'm sat behind a screen this is what i mean like imagine being front row and be like what the heck is going on um like it's just everything he's pouring his whole heart and soul into this uh there's like jabs going off as well i like how this part vocally is um in unison i don't know if i've noticed that before or if i have maybe i just i just thought it always came in with a harmony yeah the che yeah yang kind of swapping with that uh vowel as well there's lots of grit within this vocal uh i think you know lots of adrenaline as well in this performance again with what's going on so when we match <laughs> the adrenaline that we have and then in the performance we can maybe go and push through our vocals and kind of you know send a lot of grit and in, in this case there is a lot of grit in all of their in well especially in these two right here there's a lot of grit in their vocals and sometimes we can push a lot of that because of the adrenaline because of what we're feeling but also we're not going to completely damage our voice if we are to throw grit in the right way if we know how to use that in the right way anyway it's very emotionally led emotional led emotionally led yeah so i love that they are 100 percent committing to what the words are and the delivery of them and again just before this uh little section we hear a ah, like a scream again <laughs> I just feel like there's so much tension in his guitar playing as well. It's like mad. But I, there, there was like, he's not even looking, they're not looking at each other. There is so much um, hatred, like poured in, like addressed to one another. And then at this, this moment, it's like, they're just completely, I'm not even going to look at you. It's just so um, separate. Oh, I love her grit. Even from Mick Fleetwood, there's so much aggression. Right, let me just stop in this before we get to the outro. Um, yeah, I mean, I think all of them were going through their own personal um, changes uh i think uh, as well this is the thing it's like if tension's obviously getting in the way from us like hitting a note or whatever or it's obviously not good but when it's used because the adrenaline is kind of just like keeping us going keeping us going this tension just it, it's it's a very unique um a once in a lifetime performance like it's hauntingly um breathtaking <laughs> That poor camera person, I had to film this.
What's mad about that ending as well is that they're so separate on the stage. They're not coming together. Obviously, they don't want to... Well for coming tonight. Uh, it's good to be back playing L.A. It's been a while. It's been about two years since we've been on the road. And a lot of people were wondering what happened to us. I mean, a lot of things that happened. Have we broken up? Whatever. But we're here to show you that we just refuse to go away. So... <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, it's such a... Was this written because of them all? Or was this written just before? I don't really know the timeline of when this was uh, written. Obviously, it. I feel like the connection between the, like, the singers and the words are very fitting to what they are feeling. So... It's kind of, I would have, um, I wonder what happened after, <laughs> like, or just before, like, it's, it's, um, yeah, there's a lot of tension, a lot of aggression, a lot of separation as well on the, on the, on the stage as they're performing this, but, wow. I think I read somewhere that they chose to do the chain, like, it's quite common for the chain to be their opening song, so <laughs> this, uh, going in, it's, it's a very demanding uh, aggressive song to start off with. Yes, the way this was delivered, but also vocally, it's, you know, it, 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 there has to be a level of, we don't want to throw so much of that tension in the vocal folds, even though we're feeling it, but we want to make sure that they still need to be able to have a voice performing the other songs. Uh, I think it's a lot more vocally demanding for Lindsay Buckingham because of it being a little bit higher in his uh, range than it would be for Stevie Nicks or even uh, with uh, Christine McVie as well with the those harmonies that she came in you know it's very much an adding very much it's a little bit lower in Stevie Nicks's range as well which is she shines beautifully there those those note choices on the two descending moments were a choice were beautiful <laughs> well thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video I know I focused a little bit more on <laughs> what was going on uh, visually which you know we are feeling it and it's it's the performance and that's then delivered and you know portrayed through their singing so it's, it's very much linked and it's just the amount of rage and yeah jaggedness as well that was there well thank you very much for watching this uh video as i said my patreon link is in the description below do go ahead and hit that subscribe button the bell button and the thumbs up button and i'll see you very soon for another video bye